I'm um, Madison Smith. I am an industrial designer at Lenovo. My role is a advisory industrial designer, and I work primarily on new form factors and innovation for ThinkPad. Probably the best thing about my job is that every day you have no idea how the day is gonna go. You're solving problems or you're coming up with new ideas. Um, so it really feels like you're just fully creative 100% of the day, which um, is really exciting and unpredictable. I mean, the process with the X1 Fold is really, um, it's a groundbreaking product. So it's more trial and error and error like testing out new ways to do something. What are those features behind this product that needs to work in four different modes? So is the making it work amazingly for every mode? You know, you want to, you want this to have a good hand feel as a tablet. You want to make sure that it's, uh, the power button is accessible, the volume, the interaction that the user has with it as a tablet is just as good as the user putting it into um, laptop mode. So now whenever the system is set up in each of those positions, is the power button still accessible? Are the cables, you know, going to collide with the table? Is setting up a stand really easy for the user or does it become a headache and then they don't want to use that mode? So it's all really catering towards the user experience of the product. It kind of evolved with the, the culture of mobility. I mean, I really love working with the mechanical engineers, like I said, they've been just such a key part of my job, uh, building relationships with them. I get to travel um, periodically to Japan to collaborate with them, and you're collaborating constantly with people all over the world. To me, it's like the best feeling in the world, solving problems with them. when I was getting started in design is I used to be like really kind of bashful about saying my idea. There's a lot of aspects to design, but I really think that if you can drop, drop the judgment of the crazy ideas and just be vulnerable and come up with all, all types of ideas. It's like the, the wild ideas, even if they seem too wild in your head or silly to say aloud, they lead to somewhere, like always. And I think there needs to be a dedication to problem solving. You're not designing for yourself, you're designing for the world. Um, so there needs to be empathy, dedication to problem solving. And then I think kind of as you mature as a designer, your attention to the detail um, matures. Once you kind of get a grasp on all of those core things, then you're able to like stand back and say like, okay, is this, you know, am I paying attention to all the aspects here?